forecast behaves for them as well, Natasha. Uh, Adam, you always want the weather to be perfect. And you know what? We would all like that too. But there's a chance of rain for you on Saturday if you're going to be watching the beavers. Temperature in the mid-50s, so just bring the waterproof gear and be ready for it there. And if you're going to be watching the Ducks a little bit later on in the evening at Austin Stadium, also a chance for rain and temperatures will still be in the mid 50s down there in Eugene. OK, let's take a look outside live right now. Good visibility so far for McMinnville, but that is definitely going to be changing for us as we get into tomorrow morning. If you're heading up to the mountains, just be aware you might have some snow off to the sides of the road, but roads themselves look pretty good at this stage in the game. Uh, we are definitely drying out for you tonight. Tomorrow's going to be a nice day. After we get rid of the fog, we'll have some sunshine. Right now, visibility, the worst of it is down towards Eugene, out towards Newport areas south, but you're still looking good Salem, at least nine miles and 10 miles up towards Kelso and PDX. Here's your fog planner going into tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, you're hitting the road, you're getting out to make your way to work on time. Give yourself some extra time because this is about the time that the fog will likely be the thickest. It could be as little as a quarter of a mile visibility or as much as a couple miles. Either way, you're going to start to see some improvements as we get on through the morning. And certainly by the time you get to your lunch hour, we should start to see those clouds clear and get to a little bit of sunshine. Here's what it looks like on our future cast. Big old area of low pressure that brought us some turbulent weather over the last few days. That is moving out. We'll be left with some clear skies tomorrow and again on uh, Thursday. Thursday morning will be dry, but Thursday afternoon, not the case. Thursday, we bring in our next front and it'll be bringing some heavier showers to the coast. And for us, we're expecting anywhere from about maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain for you on Thursday. Another chance for rain as we get into early Friday morning, then a dry break in between before the next round of rain moves in from the northwest. And that'll be about nine o'clock in the morning Saturday. We are expecting with that colder temperatures, which means Yes, some mountain snow up there, so you might see some mountain snow moving in closer to those passes. As we get into Saturday afternoon and evening, if you're anywhere south of Portland, you have the best chance of actually getting more dry time than the rain. But basically, you can see extending all the way across northwest Oregon, all the way down to uh, places like uh, getting down to Lincoln City. You could see some rain during the day on Saturday. Here's your planner for tomorrow. Starting off with those clouds, areas of fog, it will be noticeably chillier tomorrow morning. Mid 40s expected uh, 53 by lunchtime and up to about 55 for your high temperature at the coast. You have some sunshine too. mid 50s for the afternoon, mid 50s for Salem and heading to the gorge. Also going to be nice and dry for you for the entire day. Mid 50s out there. Hood River, you're expecting 51. The Dalles 53. Government camp getting up to 49, nice and sunny for you. Madras and Bend temperatures will be in the low 50s with those morning temps close to freezing. Pendleton 51 degrees. OK, doing a little countdown just for fun, because why not? My cousin texted me today asking me how many will be at the house for Thanksgiving. And I'm like, I haven't even thought about Thanksgiving, but just so you know, it is 16 days away. That took me by surprise. Christmas 48 days away. Valentine's Day, who's counting down those days? 99 <laughs> days away. Um, yeah, so things to think about. A seven day forecast looks like this. Let's just get through the next seven days. It does include more rain, and yes, over the weekend, but those daytime highs pretty uniform. They'll be in the mid 50s. Is that the cousin that always brings the green bean casserole to your uh, place? Yeah, yeah. You know what? I gotta give her credit. She knows how to cook. I did not get that gene in the family. Uh, yeah. And you know, it's the flower shops, the candy shops. They're counting down to Valentine's Day. Yes. Okay. Watching right. out for you. That's right. Yeah. All right. And looking ahead to.